Lucy and this is my son Freddie. And first of all, we want to say a big hello and Happy New Year. We hope you've had a fantastic holiday. What have you been getting up to on your holiday? Have you been playing games, going on walks, uh, watching movies, eating lots of nice food? Well, I've definitely been eating my fair share of chocolate. It's lovely to be sharing with you today. And I hope that you've enjoyed the story of Anna and Simeon as much as we have. Now, I'm just going to hand Freddie back to his daddy so that we can talk a little bit more about today's story. I loved today's video about Anna and Simeon. It's a great reminder that Jesus was sent as a gift from God to rescue and to help us. And we can have faith that God always keeps his promises. So today I'm speaking from Freddie's nursery. And behind me, you'll probably be able to see on the shelf, here is Freddie's toy Noah's Ark. And this was a gift from his Auntie Amy. Speaking of gifts, wasn't it amazing that Simeon and Anna both recognised Jesus and knew that he was a gift from God? Just like Freddie has been a gift to me and my family, Jesus was sent by God as a gift to the whole world, including you. And when Anna and Simeon met Jesus, they were both filled with joy. Jesus was sent by God to rescue us and to help us in our troubles. Jesus is still with us today by his Holy Spirit. And you can talk to him anytime, any place, about anything. Jesus loves you no matter what. And he wants to get to know you so you too can be filled with his joy. It's great to spend time with Jesus, isn't it? What are some of the ways we can spend time with him? How about praying or reading your Bible or coming to church like we're doing today or even just talking to him whilst you're at home or at school? We can spend time with Jesus anywhere. So why don't you right now have a think about some of the ways you can spend time with Jesus this week? What else have we learned from today's story? Well, did you notice that Simeon and Anna both had great patience and faith throughout their lives. They had faith that God would send a saviour as he had promised and they waited patiently, even into old age, for God to keep his promise. What are some of the things that you might be waiting for? Have you asked God for something and you're waiting for him to answer? Well, waiting isn't always easy, but we know that if we wait patiently, that God will always answer and he always keeps his promises. So let me remind us what it says in the Bible about faith. Well, it says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Even though Simeon could not see or understand when or how God might send a saviour, he believed that God would do what he said he would do. What do you need faith for today? Maybe it's for help at school or help with your friendships, or you might be feeling a little bit worried or afraid. Well, Jesus says that we don't need to worry about anything because he is with us wherever we go. So when you go to school, he's with you. When you do your homework, he's with you. When you're at home, he is with you. And as we start this new year, we might not know what the future holds. We might not know what might happen this year. Or you might be feeling a little bit uncertain about what's going to happen when you go back to school. Well, let's follow the example of Anna and Simeon, who trusted God. They trusted that God would keep his promise, and he did. God promises to be with us, to love us, to give us peace and joy and strength. God has good plans for us, and we can confidently put our trust in God because he loves us very much and he always keeps his promises. So what have we learned today? We've learned that Jesus was sent as a gift from God to rescue and to save us, and that we can put our faith in him because he always keeps his promises. So as we end, let me pray for us. Dear God, thank you that you love us and that you came to rescue us and help us. We bring our worries to you today and we pray that you will help us and give us peace and joy. Lord, I pray that all of our Kingsgate kids will be blessed 
and I pray that as the holidays come to an end, they will have a great start to the year. I pray that you will protect them and bless them as they go back to school. And we thank you, Jesus, that you love us, that you have good plans for us, and we don't need to worry about anything. Thank you that you're always with us and that you always keep your promises. Amen. Well, have a fantastic week, everybody. Make sure you continue to check out the website and come back and join us again next week. It's been great to see you. See you soon. Bye.